So today I was headed north through the fertile farmlands of Angus and Perthshire. The road was a bit different to what I was used to heading west, but I soon hit Blair Gowrie onto the Bridge of Cali, and then I was headed up for the Eastern Highlands and Glenshee. It was fabulous weather, and the weather had been good for a few weeks, so I was keen to make the most of it on a wild camp. reached the car park and the sun was lowering, it was about 7 o'clock, uh, I was keen not to start too early as it had been really really warm during the day so uh, hiking later on made things a bit easier. So I got the boots on, the backpack ready and I set off up for a hill called Glass Mall. Fabulous. So this evening I've uh, I've come to the Eastern Highlands, completely different to my last wild camp, which is over in the west, where it's where the hills are a bit more jagged and uh, yeah, I used to think more impressive. But they, they, these Eastern Highlands, I'm actually looking down Glen Shee, and I've parked the car just at the ski centre. Um, Maybe cheating a little bit because it's well above 600 metres, but it makes it a bit more bearable. My legs are still recovering after last week's wild camp. And the weather's remained fantastic. Uh, during the week, I think Scotland recorded its highest, I think it was its highest temperature in over five years, in some spots, the highest temperature ever recorded. So it's been lovely. So I've uh, come out this weekend to the, the hills nearer home and the Glen Shee Hills are just fantastic. A lot of people come up here and it's some of their first hills that they do when they, they get into hill walking because you're starting at quite a high ele elevation. That was certainly the case for me, and uh, I brought my daughter back, and that was her first uh, first hills are over here, Cairnwell, and some of its neighbours. But um, today I'm heading over to this one here. I don't know if you can make it out. It's called Glass Mall, and I'm hoping to camp on the summit of there. Doesn't look too far away, but uh, with this big pack on, it might take me a while to get there. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to crack on under blue skies, and hopefully get up there to uh, to find a nice pitch to spend the night. Yeah, let's go. Well, I've been on the go for maybe 40 minutes now and uh, it's glorious, it's absolutely lovely. And uh, I'm actually taking a wee shortcut. The main sort of track goes up over the top of this rising and then drops down to a bilach. Just over there before you start heading up Glass Mile. So uh, a bit of a cheat, but there's a, there's a wee path that cuts you, cuts your, uh, your ascent and descent. Just along the side here, so I remember from the last time, it's a bit grassier, a bit easier on the knees. So it uh, doesn't look like I've got too far to go, but the... The worst part of the, the climb is just this last pull up onto the uh, summit plateau, so I'll just take my time and enjoy the sunshine. I'll spin round, you can see the sun's starting to lower a little. Still got a few hours to, uh, to wait until sunset, I think we'll be fine. So. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit knackered. That's me getting towards the top. I've just a wee steep sting in the tail of the hill. Uh, beyond me, behind me, I'm almost at the top of this uh, steeper section and then it starts to level off onto the summit plateau. So, uh, yeah, I'm sweating. I've got my, the many uses of a buff. 
So I've got my buff underneath my hat and there's um, two reasons for that. One, it, uh, and most importantly, it stops the sweat dropping over my, down my nose and over my eyes and what have you. It's quite a good, good absorbing uh, buff. And the second reason is it covers my ears and helps protect my neck uh, from the sun because I know it's about 8 o'clock, 8.30 at night. It's still it's, it's mid, mid-summer and there's still a bit of power in my sun at this time. So, just, so anyway, let's get up here and get the tent up. It's a lovely, lovely blue sky, green grass. That's the main, that's one of the big differences between here and the west coast. Is how green it is, especially when there's a blue sky like that behind us. It's lovely. Um, not many rocks though, but still, absolutely. So I soon found myself on the summit plateau, and it was lovely. The gradient was a lot easier than that last steep pull up, and the views were starting to open up. You could see over to the Angus Hills, and then further round the Cairngorms and the Perser Hills. Fantastic, absolutely brilliant. It was certainly a fine night to do in the hill. That's me at the summit. Here we go, there's the summit trig behind me. And that's probably taken me, uh, I don't know, maybe about an hour and 15 to get up here and that's with lots of stops and just taking it easy and uh, it's lovely. It's uh, lots of grass, it looks like there's lots of places to pitch the tent so I'm just going to dump my bag here and go for a wee wander about and see if I can find a nice pitch with a with a nice view. It's quite a, a an expansive summit plateau so uh, no sharp peaks here but that also means lots of uh, flat grassy spots so yeah, get the bag off and go for a wander and see if I can find a pitch. Yeah. So I've had a little wander about for the last sort of 15 minutes and I went over uh, quite far down there. There's a lovely, lovely set of cliffs just over, over to the, uh, I think that's east. Um, and I know there's another top down there, I think it's Little little Glass Mall, I might be wrong. <laughs> that looks like a nice place, but it's a bit too far because I need to get back quite early tomorrow. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back the way I came because the view's out over to the Cairngorms and down to the likes of Beneglow and what have you. The hills just seem to be going on and on, so I'm going to try and get a pitch back towards, back towards the car. I'm still on the top of the plateau and uh, yeah, get set up and uh, hopefully find a nice spot with a porch view. So, enough talking, let's get going. So I headed back down the way I'd come up and before long I found a lovely little flat piece of ground and I set about getting my tent up so I could then relax and just enjoy the sunset. Absolutely lovely. I'm looking over to the, uh, looking down Glen Shee there, and then further over, it's the uh, Cairngorm Mass I'm looking at. I think that's where the sunset is going to, is going to happen over the Cairngorm. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. It's almost uh, it's a bit of a homecoming. These are the, these are the hills that I first sort of set foot on when I got the, the bug of uh, Munro bagging about 20 years ago. And I have been back. Uh, I brought my daughter here for her first Munros and what have you. But um, I think I frequent the west coast more often now, which is a bit of a shame because these hills are absolutely gorgeous. You can see in this light, it's just, it's, it's glorious, absolutely glorious. And there's not 
much effort required in comparison to some, uh, some other mountains. You're starting at about, I think it's about 670 metres in the car park, so um, you, still, you still need to uh, put the effort in, but yeah, look at it, it's just fantastic. So, yeah, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just going to relax, watch the sunset, maybe take some photographs and then uh, hit the hay and get up early in the morning. Absolutely. So it was a lovely spot, the uh, the sun was going down over towards the Cairngorms, but the views were extensive, you know, right round from Loch Nagar and way down south you could see east and west Logan, so it was a lovely spot just to relax and enjoy myself. After having some tea, I set about getting the tripod up, and uh, I decided to take some shots of the uh, of the Cairngorms and the Eastern Highlands. It was lovely. Not long till sunset, but I'm, I'm really being lazy, like <laughs> super lazy. So I've got, got the tent there, great view from the tent out watching the sunset. And if I just spin around, you can see how I've set the tripod up. <laughs> just, there it is, there. And there's me sitting down. Really, really lazy. So I'm going to uh, take, <laughs> take some time lapse while well, sitting on my backside watching the sunset from the tent. Absolutely lovely. It's glorious. There's no clouds in the sky. Um, one of the reasons I came up was there was one forecast, I think it was MVIS, so met the, 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 uh, start again. There was one forecast that suggested that there might be a cloud inversion or a temperature inversion tomorrow and we'd be above the cloud, but there's no cloud. <laughs> that was the Mountain Weather Information Service. All the other forecasts suggest clear skies and then cloud rolling in, but uh, covering the summit. So, yeah, we'll see. Sometimes you've just got to gamble, and uh, anyway, this, this sunset's worth it. Absolutely glorious, and uh, it's going to set right over the Cairngorms, and it's just that, it's just lovely. So, anyway, I'm going to shut up and enjoy the sunset. <laughs> That's the sun going down. It's actually the, the breeze has just picked up a wee bit. It's been nice. There's been, uh, there's been no midges at all, which is surprising because um, the wind did drop right. The wind did drop right down, and I thought at that point the midge might come out, but yeah, there's not many. Maybe, maybe it's just I'm used to uh, <laughs> the midge in the west coast. But you know, I know you certainly get midges here. But I think I've just been lucky tonight. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to hit the hay now, see if I can get some sleep. I don't sleep very well uh, when I'm out camping, so... But I am absolutely knackered. I don't think I've had a full night's sleep for weeks, so... Um, we'll see how we get on tonight. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hit the hay, and I think there's a full moon tonight. I'll be over that way. I can't see it because of the hill, but it might be setting uh, when I wake up in the morning. In a few hours. Uh, sunrise is about 4.30 again, so... Um, anyway, let's see what the morning brings. Night-night. Well, I've been up for about 10 minutes, it's 4 o'clock now, and uh, yeah, it's looking fine, I'll just spin around so you can see it out. Um, no cloud inversion, in fact, no cloud at all, which is fine. 
The sun's going to come up over that way somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I'll not be taking any photographs because I've just realised that my uh, I left my camera on went <laughs> to bed last night, so um, I'm just going to have to film everything on the GoPro now, which is fine. Anyway, I'm going to get up, get a quick coffee. So I got the coffee on and I just really enjoyed uh, having breakfast and I watched the, the sunrise up above Loch Nagar. Certainly breakfast with a view and it was a fabulous morning, absolutely glorious and as much as I didn't want to leave, it was soon time for me to finish my breakfast and set about striking camp. Oh, well that's me, uh, got the tent away. Uh, that's where I was camped and it's, uh, it's a lovely morning, look at this, the views are just uh, spectacular down over Benaglow and down into Perthshire and then north over the Cairngorms and the sun came up over Loch Nagar so yeah I'm going to get cracked on now. So I was soon on my way descending down off the slopes of Glass Mall with Glen Shee spread before me. It was just, it was just one of those mornings and crystal clear views and blue skies and yeah, I wasn't in any rush, it, was, it wasn't going to take me long to get back to the car and I knew I'd be home before the rest of the family were awake. Last me back down, you probably can see. I don't know if you can make out behind me. I'm back into the uh, ski centre area. But it's a glorious morning, absolutely glorious. And uh, it's not taking me long to get back off and back down. I'm maybe about halfway down, but it'll take me under an hour to get back to the car. I would have thought. But I'm just taking my time, and there's lots of wildlife. I've seen lots of hares and deers and and what have you, and birds. I'm not too sure what the type of birds were. Certainly grouse. There are lots of little birds uh, in this uh, in this sort of area. It's one of the one of the things I do notice about the Eastern Highlands is uh, you tend to see or notice a lot more wildlife than uh, that's my personal experience anyway than you do over in the West. Um, but it's just magic. What a morning! Absolutely glorious. So I'm going to bimble my way back down to the car and then uh, head back home. It's quarter to six in the morning, so I'll be home. I think I'll be home for about seven. Happy days! Anyway, let's go!